Hi everybody, it's just me LTM. I have a really quick unboxing for you today. I had an appointment in a part of the city that I don't very often go to and there is a yarn shop in that area that I've been told about before but never visited. So what is a girl to do? I was in that area, of course I dropped by and had a look. There was this lovely group of ladies at the back who were having a get together, a craft get together around a big table. I really love that when shops provide that kind of an opportunity in their premises. Sounded like some of them were just learning to knit, being taught how to knit and other ladies there were obviously more experienced and perhaps just going for the social get together. So that was really lovely to see. When I was there, I I was reasonably restrained, let me put it that way. I feel I was reasonably restrained. I only came home with six balls of yarn and considering how much yarn I've been buying recently, that's very restrained. So let's have a look at what I got. I'm sure you will love some of these yarns. So I took my own bag. This is my own bag. It's not from the shop. So let's have a look at what's in the bag. Okay, so a few balls of yarn and a couple of tools. So these are by Knit Pro Symphony. They are crochet hooks. I bought two different sizes. I have some Knit Pro uh, circular knitting needles, but I haven't tried their crochet hooks before, so I thought I would grab a couple of those in sizes that I use the most. So it's a 4 and a 5.5. And then here we have the yarn. So there was a bit of a throw out bin and that's where these two balls of yarn came from. I thought they were quite complementary colors. It's, it's quite fuzzy, I'm not sure if you can really tell that, but it's quite a fuzzy yarn. Uh, it's 75% acrylic and 25% alpaca. I'm not sure that I've seen acrylic and alpaca together before. I've seen alpaca with other things like wool and, and other items like that, but I'm not sure I've seen acrylic and alpaca together. It's called Fiddlesticks brand. Uh, I'm not sure really where it's made. Half of the band is kind of hidden in the middle of the ball. It uh, doesn't say where it's made. 50 grams, 170 meters. So hopefully two balls of that is enough to create something nice. Then I really quite like tweeds, quite like this mottledy kind of effect. I've made a number of beanies of different brands of yarn using that kind of yarn and I really like how it comes out. So this is Panda brand. It's an 8-ply, it's 100% acrylic, sorry, no, it's 97% acrylic and 3% viscose, apparently. So I bought two colours, of course, purple, you may have worked out by now, I really quite like purple, a lot of the time you'll see that I'm wearing purple. My Fitbit, hiding under my sleeve, my Fitbit has a purple band and my glasses have purple on them too, so that... I don't happen to be wearing purple clothes, I've got some purple on me. So two colours of this tweed and I think that will make some really nice beanies on my knitting machine. And then finally saw this and just could not, could not resist this. This beautiful black and white gradient yarn with gorgeous little sequins in it. This is beautifully soft, it's really nice, and I bought a matching ball of the white to go with it. So the brand name on this is King Cole, and its name is Galaxy. It's a DK yarn, so in theory it should work in my knitting machine, and I am really keen to try this to see how it goes with the sequins on it. 65% um, acrylic, 31% wool, and 4% soft paillette, P-A-Y-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E. never heard of that. Approximately 175 meters in 50 grams. 
So there you go. There is my haul. The shop is called Crossways Wool and Fabric and it's in Subiaco in Perth, Western Australia. Highly recommend. They had an amazing array of yarns in there. Really stunning range of yarns. Highly recommend but either take your chaperone or don't take your purse. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.